I got something new today. My first ever, how should I call it? My July current summer beauty favorites. Beauty and lifestyle favorites. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna call it because I don't think I can commit to monthly. But on the occasions, probably some of them will be current favorites, but this one will be a July current summer beauty and lifestyle favorites. Okay, I got that locked down now. Some of these are gonna be new. Actually, a lot of them are gonna be kind of relatively new. Some of them are gonna be like new discoveries, and some of them are gonna be kind of new discoveries that I discovered in my stash in a deep hole in the bowels of my cupboard. So we're gonna go from there. So let's get in. The first up on this is gonna be the beauty favorite. So first up, let me, what should I start with? Oh, yes, I gotta start with this. Y'all, I gotta start with this. This is my Chikahoto Z Series Z11 brush. Focus, you mofo, focus. And this is what I, this is my favorite. I discovered this in July and I am not letting go of this. I have very high hoods. I say that in a lot of my videos, but I have a very high eyebrow. Mimi's eye structure with a very high eyebrow, high real estate hood and it's sensitive hood. So this is perfect. It's rounded so it can start my transition, increase colors before I go into the deeper, lower crease. And this is perfect because it's domed, it's squirrel haired so it's luxurious and soft and I can control the lay down because you don't want to go too heavy to start. Otherwise you, you are bound right away to look like Mimi. This is like holy of holy grails now. This tiny little short little round domed squirrel haired brush. This has been doing me good. This actually it makes his first appearance in my Beautylish haul, my first Beautylish haul, so you can take a look at that. And then it made another appearance in my Jawbreaker Beautylish haul, which is the second one. And I got two more of these. That's to prove how much of a holy grail this is. So I can't part from this. This is it for me. Next up is my Touch and Soul Metalist eyeshadow. It's in a pot form. This is like Pat McGrath specialty shadows in her larger mothership palettes. This is actually reminds me of the shadow in the bronze seduction. I forgot her name, something makeup corner, and she described people like us as magpies. I am a magpie through and through. Anything shiny and glittery is all up my alley. So this is all, I'm all in for this. This is, <laughs> this is my thing. Um, I will give you a close up of it. I mean, you can see the radiance in there. There's glitter and it's a nice, fine, shimmery glitter. And it's very reminiscent of Pat McGrath Specialty Shadow. So if you don't want to go all into a $130 palette or whatever the price is, 160 and you just want those specialty shadows, this is a really nice, option for you. I have other options. Maybe I should do a video on that. But this is a nice option for you if you just want to purchase at Sephora. So Touch and Soul Metalist. These are amazing. There's I think four or five others. I do have the Hollow Mulberry. I do have another one but I wanted to do this one because it's lovely yellow, very summery. I love those summer chartreuse. Speaking of yellows, I think I have a bit of a trend here in these next ones. This I picked up on at Shoppers. They don't sell it in Sephora. So the Canadian Shoppers sells the Stilla. Stilla Little White Lies Liquid Eyeshadow and this one is Sun Aurora. <laughs> This is amazing because it's more on the duochrome than the glittery. It's super shiny, super iridescent. This is like a light white yellow and it duochrome shifts. And when you put it on your eye, oh my word, this is amazeballs. 
seriously maze balls. So see the difference between the two? One has a more glittery effect, more can be pigmented. The other one is actually pigmented too, but it's a lot softer, but it has an impact all the same. Oh my God, this is amazing. And I actually picked this up for free. Shoppers has this point system and I built up enough points to be able to treat myself to this. The next one is a surprise. I actually haven't even worn it during the day, but in my makeup playtime, like Hannah Louise Poston says, I played around with this one. That kind of sounds, don't, don't take it out of context, okay? This one is Denisa Merrick's Metal Glitter Pigment in Love Story. It is a pigment, it's a metal pigment, but it also has glitter in it. And this is beautiful. I like it that it's in these little caps. It's got a little hole. Let me see. And I was playing around with it. I thought, let me just try it. See how to apply it because I've never really played around with pigments and suddenly I'm having a struggle bus opening it because I don't not wear my glasses. Okay. So it has the top and then it opens up and you have a hole right here. And for me, I, I'm like, you know, when it comes to low maintenance, I just want to be fast and easy too blown out to really see the color properly. Probably need to use glitter glue and, but I just tapped it on my eye. I already had sh a shadow on, I just tapped it on my eye and oh my God, it was so beautiful. It has like pink and light orange, like peach glitter to it, fine glitter. You put on an eyeshadow and then you tap that on a little bit, maybe in the middle of the halo. You are ready to go. You look like a little fairy dust. Yeah, so just be careful because if you don't use glitter and you tap it on, some of it will kind of fall on your face and you'll truly look like a little fairy twinkle, which I'm I'm okay about. I, I, can, I can do that, but a lot of people don't like that, so use a, like a glitter glue. The only problem with glitter the glues that I find is that when you use the glitter glue, then it becomes way more pigmented when you tap on the color, and it's not really always what I want, but nonetheless. Oh. This, I have it on my lips right now. I have a NYX Butter lipstick on in kind of like a peachy coral, and then I've got this topped on it. And this is Marc Jacobs Enamored Lip Gloss in Some Girls. This is awesome. This is, mmm. This is what it looks like. There we go. I've been using this a lot to top off my lipsticks. It just gives a nice refreshing look. Oh, okay. Now, my favorite eyeshadows. I went to lips, but we're still on the eyeshadows. Okay, there's this. Oh my gosh, once I started playing with Huda Beauty's Neon Obsessions in Orange, what is this, Orange Obsessions? Lord have mercy. This is awesome. This is so much fun. The thing is, even this is, I would still consider this monochromatic orange because I think of monochromatic is being in the orange color family and veering off to yellow and veering off a little bit to the pink and ready. Okay, so then you're on like that side of the color wheel and then you're taking in those colors on that side. For me, that's monochromatic because it gives you way more looks uh, than the orange, what's it called again? The orange cool? I forgot what it was called. Orange You Glad <laughs> palette by ColourPop. That one's awesome too, but I find this one, it would make actually a great companion to this one, but I find this one I can make more looks. And let me tell you, once I put this on my eyes, I kept on wearing the same look over and over again for a couple of days. That tells me that I really love this palette. So yeah, so I was having a whole bunch of fun with this palette. This eye look that I'm wearing right now, oh my God, I've been wearing this over and over again ever since I started wearing this eye look. And this is my favorite eye look so far from Jeffree Star's Jawbreaker palette. And this is what it looks like. I've been having so much fun with this. This is a summer delight, and this is a pastel paradise delight because it is pigmented pastels, and these pastels will work on not just light skin tones because it has 
it has power to the pigment. <laughs> so, and in fact, half of these eyeshadows in here are pigments. So that's why it's power to the pigments in pastels. And what I'm wearing is, I'm gonna call it duck, <laughs> this one here. I am wearing brave brain freeze in my crease. Duck is on the inside, the brain freeze is on the outside. And then I have, I put snack on my lid with, and I topped it off with orange juice to make it kind of an orangey creamsicle color. And then I put this in my brow bone and then I put soaked in my outer corner and slightly up. So that's how I got this look got so many compliments from it I love this for the summer I've been playing around with this so much in July and I will con I will be continuing to play around with this this is my this is my summer palette. oh yes one more honorable mention this is the Shanzo I picked this pulled this out I've suddenly remembered I have a lipstick palette it's in the Shanzo BH Cosmetics. I've been wanting more of these kind of summer colors. Didn't want to be going ahead and buying any more when I don't need. And I remembered, oh my God, I have this in the bowels of my closet in my bedroom. So I pulled it out and here we go. And I just mix my colors. If I want like a more reddish color or pinky color or more coral, I go with these. And then I go with this to tone it down. And then if I want to take this, I usually, I'm a mixologist. I don't like to wear color straight and this would be too too bright for me so I'll put this on and then I'll mix it with a little bit of this to tone it down and uh, or I'll mix this with it like this I don't think I've touched that one yet that's how I get my colors and this has been doing me really good you just need a good lipstick brush and you're set I've been having fun with this so next up is skincare some of my favorites are let me tell you pharmacy honey grail ultra highly hydrating face oil this I've been really loving. This is a face oil. This has buckwheat honey in it. Actually, it's the extract of the buckwheat honey. It has sea buckthorn oil. I did an old video on it, which is still relevant today, of fresh sea berries, sea buckthorn oil amazing oil like that is a powerhouse oil so if you want to get the really good nitty-gritty background on that I'll watch that video it also has a five flower oil blend of hibiscus rosehip evening primrose cramp and sunflower oils so those are the main ingredients they don't list it in the main ingredients but it does have coconut oil now this texture of this is literally like a luxurious oil mixed with a very luxurious emollient moisturizer it it's kind of almost thick but it's just slippery it just moves all over the place you just feel like you're putting something luxurious on your skin it has a funny smell it has a very very typical honey almost that stinky honey smell yeah so I only put this on at bedtime and I use it about every other day on the days I'm not using my Luna retinol I use this I sometimes put other ordinary oils on first I'll put a thin layer of my ordinary oil and then I'll top it off with this wait I'll go watch some TV have a little be bedtime snack and then I'll go back and I'll put my moisturizer on that's how I do my skincare in the evening how I'm layering my oils after my serums because I do put my serums on so this has been doing good so far I have not gotten any uh, communogenic pimples or bumps from this as yet I want to keep on using it but right now I'm loving it but other people complained about getting pimples on Sephora I have felt and I've said to other people that it could be the evening primrose oil or the coconut oil or both so if you want to try this just make sure that you test it out for a while and make sure you don't have that response so far i don't have that response for some people evening primrose oil can give you pimples it's rare but it can happen and coconut oil is known to do that too so far so good for me and i'm loving it but i know for me i can't take evening primrose pills because i will break out in cystic acne like i have nobody's business i don't know where it came from i don't generally get cystic acne me and evening primrose oil taking it orally not a good mix but so far so good talk the next one is my sephora cream what is it called? I'm reading the French side. This is the Sephora H, -Y H, 
YA Brightening Eye Cream. This, Canadian dollars, just 22. Now listen, I tried the Kiehl's. I was trying to look for a new eye cream and I tried the Kiehl's avocado one. Everybody talks about it. Some sort of like popular, the popular Kiehl's eye cream. I forgot to test it out in store. I stick my finger in it and put it on my hand. Don't put it on your eyes. You're gonna get an eye infection that way from those testers. I forgot to do that and just bought it outright. Got home, put it on my arm. Go, my God, this is the thickest thing I've ever had. You could barely spreadable, kind of like creme de la mer's la mer moisturizer. I was like, what the heck? This is too thick for me. I tried it out for a week. I had to return it. Then I thought, okay, I'll go to the Clinique. All About the Eyes Rich. I've used the All About the Eyes, but not the Rich. So I thought I wanted to go for the Rich. Tried that one. That gave me so much eye irritation. I don't know what they had put in there, but that was a major fail. So those are my two fails in this favorite. So I had to return that. So I thought, you know what? Listen, Sephora Collection just came out with this. Why don't I try it? It's affordable. It looks like the texture is right. I am so happy. I believe it has caffeine in here. The texture is just perfection. The claims it's supposed to depuff. I don't know about that because I've still got that puffy air. The only way I'm going to get rid of this is the eye surgery, which is not going to happen. I got no surgery on my eyes. I don't have any surgery on anything. No Botox. I don't have any filler. I've never gone in for any laser treatments, and I'm 56 years old, okay? So I've never gotten any work done on my face. I do need some work under my eyes but this will suffice for now and I'm super happy with it. It's just the right texture, it's non-irritating, and I am loving it. On to lifestyle. Okay, the first one is my Jennifer Aniston perfume. Yes, well, it's probably the cologne. I forgot which one, I'll put the name up because I forgot the exact name. Now the thing is with this perfume is that it's not like being sold in any stores anymore. You gotta get it on like amazon.com or amazon.ca. But I was sitting beside somebody on the subway, I think it was last year, and she smells so amazingly good, I just couldn't resist. I literally wanted to just stick my face in her and that's what the way I am with perfumes. I'll follow a man, I'll follow a woman, doesn't matter if they're smelling really good and I'll ask them what they're wearing because that's how much I love scents. So I asked her, cause she's sitting right next to me, she's a captive audience and she was so sweet and she told me that it was Jennifer Aniston. However, I'm thinking Jennifer Aniston only has one perfume. No, I get online and finally did my search on amazon.ca and no, she doesn't have just one. She has like three or four and it's like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? I'm trying to figure this out. So I bought this one first. It's actually not the scent she was wearing so I did have to try again. However, this is the most amazing scent because it smells like Bobbi Brown's bath. Exactly like it with just a slight twist to it but pretty much exactly like it. If I didn't know, I would have thought it was Bobbi Brown Bath. Bobbi Brown Bath has been discontinued. I'm so disappointed because I don't like the beach. It's too typical beachy. Bath was very different and very unique and a beautiful scent and I don't know why they make these ridiculous decisions. However, I finally got it back. Jennifer Aniston saved the day for me. So I am so happy I have my Bobby Brown bath and my Jennifer Aniston. But I'm still on the search for the original one that the woman was wearing, so I did buy another one. I'm hoping that one's it, but if it's not, I'm thinking Jennifer Aniston will not let me down. Next up is this. As you, as you can see, I have the small teacup there. This is so beautiful. This is, what is it called? This is Royal Albert's Miranda Kerr Friendship Line. So they collab together and the design is absolutely beautiful with the peonies and the butterflies. But the thing is, it's too small and I have tea every single day. I have to have a snack because I have to take all my supplements at that point. And I take my iron supplement, the one that I did the video on, 
And let me tell you, just an update, I need to do a separate video, but I was, my iron stores were at eight, which is very dangerous. I brought it up to 45 by taking that blood builder. So I am a restored vampire right now, but I needed a bigger teacup and I wanted to use those teacups. So that one's a decoration and for my like reality videos, review videos. But this one, I discovered that they have the mugs. So I got the mug. So this is a pink mug and I love it because I need, I, it's beautiful. And why wouldn't you want to drink your tea in a beautiful mug every day? I've got this pink one. I actually picked up the blue one and I want to pick up the green one. And I have been enjoying it with my Forever Nuts by David's Tea. Forever Nuts have fruit infusion and it also has cinnamon beetroot. Beetroot is so good for the heart and for the blood. And it makes my tea pink so whenever i'm drinking my tea out of this cup i do the forever nuts because i have a pink tea and my pink tea cup call me crazy but it's a lot of fun okay so next up is my wallet i picked up this wallet i love this company this is called sp it's a canadian brand all of the their bags and their wallets are vegan this is a uh, vegan leather it is fake leather but it feels like leather and I always loved these designs when I was very very sick I had to empty out my wallet and wear a, like the little kind of waistband thingy and then when I was able to start wearing a bag again I picked up one of these from my local um, shoe repair guy but in the smaller size in the smaller one but now that I'm a little bit more weller I can carry a little bit more weight in my bag. I decided to get this last month. And the way this is designed is that it has a lot of card holder slots. I measure a wallet by card holder slots. It has it all. And also a lot more of these areas to put my bills in. It is perfect. But anyway, yes, yeah, so it's it's a perfect wallet and I love it and it's still still kind of relatively compact to get in my purse and not take up too much room. Now the cool thing about this, this is a quick, quick little story. I didn't realize that this was a four leaf clover. I was looking at it, I picked it up, I was quickly looking at it, I went, I thought it was green flowers and a little ladybug flying on it. And I thought, oh, I really want this. I mean, I want to graduate back to a bigger bag. And I thought green flowers, oh, isn't that cute? But I'm going, I, I didn't realize, wait a second, they're, green flowers is generally not that prevalent, but I wasn't thinking that way. I picked it up, got home, was starting to fill it, and realized, oh my gosh, wait a second, that's a four leaf clover. Now, it's very significant to me because two years ago, I was sitting with a friend of mine in my neighborhood for tea. And we were sitting outside in the summertime and I didn't realize that there was something underneath my chair. And I was going through, that was when I was going through a horrific time with my health and my life. Not to say that it's completely steady right now because it's not major challenges, but nonetheless, that time I was going through a very horrific time and I was sitting with my friend. I was sitting on a chair that was kind of open, like it had kind of a lacy filigree and it was open and I had no idea that I was sitting over something. So when we were leaving, I kind of picked myself up and I realized there was a four leaf clover, a plastic four leaf clover underneath my chair. I can show you a picture of it. I can, if I can find it, I will show you a picture. This is proof of life. This is my four leaf clover. So this is what was sitting underneath my chair all that time that we were sitting and chatting. I knew this was something because I really needed some sort of encouragement going through what I was going through. And now two years later, Surprise, surprise, I pick up this with the four leaf clover on it. Obviously it means something. I'm holding on to it and it's on my it's on my wallet. So it's very, very special to me. I saw this in March in my local clothing store and they sell some bags. It's called Pixie Mood. This is a local Canadian bag designer. I think they're out in Markham. And of course it's a faux leather vegan. Anyway, I saw it in March. 
I really loved it. I kept my eye on it. Should I get it? Should I not? No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. In July, it's like, let me go into the store and see whether it's still there. Because I kept on going back. Oh, it's still there. Okay, I can. there's still hope. There's still hope. And then finally in July, I went back into the store and it wasn't there. And I was like nearly having a fit. I'm going, no, 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 no. So I asked the store owner. We're on first name basis. They're so, so sweet. And she said, they can't order it for the store because they're no longer doing summer so I'm going oh no she goes don't 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 worry if you can't get it online I'll order it specifically for you so I said okay so she showed me uh, how to get it online blah, blah 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 I went home sure enough it was online do you know what the name of this bag is Kim this is the Kim bag and my name is Kim <laughs> so it was really special because I don't know, it felt like a gift from my mom because my mom passed in March and I had my eye on this bag and I had no idea up until July that it was called Kim. So it's a very, very special bag for me and the neat thing about this bag is that it's a backpack and I need backpacks because I gotta save my back and I've gotta save, it helps with my heart if things are even and there's not a heavy load and then on top of that you can change it up to be a cross body so it's really really nice and it's got the zipper at the back it's got some two holders and then a zipper inside I'm not going to show anything but it's a it's beautiful it's lovely and compact but just the right size for so I can fit in a book I can fit in a fold-up bag so if I'm doing any light shopping I can pull that out my wallet my and it's got the holders for my other things especially for my phone now I wish the pocket for my phone was a little lower so that it wouldn't be so too high close to the opening. Also with the back, it's really this so convenient because I can put other things in here. The only thing is that when you go in to grab out, the pocket is very loose and light so it can pull out. I wish it was just a little bit more of a substantial pocket in there and tack down a little bit better. That's the only thing. But otherwise this thing is perfection. Okay, now I just want to talk to you about this top. This top. I love it, the tie-dye. So this is one of my favorites. I picked up a couple of little pieces of clothing. My, I call it my 50s shorts. So they're high-waisted because when I wear this, this is the hoodie that I wore in my Jeffree Star Beautylish haul and unboxing. And it's tie-dye and it's got the hoodie at the back, but it's cropped high. So, so I needed some sort of shorts that is high cut so that it can accommodate because when you're this age, you don't want your belly showing, especially when you've got a prednisone belly. We don't need that. So this is perfect. So you've got the kind of 50 style short, so it protects my tummy and I want to show you my shoes. These are my Tom shoes. They're awesome. So I wear these with my jeans. I wear these with my jean shorts when I want to look a little bit more casual but a little bit more upscale casual so I'll do that this is like my 70s my 70s high-waisted jeans these are amaze balls and they're flared at the bottom so you can see how flared they are and then with these or some other cute little slingbacks this is totally awesome and then because I picked up, these are both guests. These are guests, guest factory all the way, man. So affordable, because everything's on sale. And then I picked up this, and it's cropped also. So with the high jeans, oh my God, girls, you can still wear beautiful cropped things if you wear it the high cut. And then you look so 70s, you look so hip, and I was feeling myself. And one thing I wanted to tell you guys about, is that I'm trying to get back into working out more on a regular basis, especially my yoga. I wanna do a little bit of cardio, and of course my muscle building. I got pretty much a gym in my place. I've got all the barbells, the dumbbells, the step, I've got the, the band, so I've got everything. And I got my DVDs. So I've been trying to get back into my yoga, at least starting off with that and a little bit of my very modified weight workout. So the two yoga DVDs that I've been really enjoying right now 
and I call them my kind of starting back yoga routines. The first one is my Namaste Yoga. This is the series season one in Namaste Yoga, and there is three DVD discs in here. This is also Canadian based, based in Vancouver. The television, I will tell you what channel they have their series on because they do one every single day. They don't do a lot of vinyasas in it, but the, some of the episodes will have some vinyasas, but it's half an hour. The woman who's the, the yoga instructor, she is amazing. She does it in a flow style and her voice is so meditative and calming and flowy. And then she, the breath work, oh my goodness. This is amazing when I want to start out lightweight and gain my strength slowly, but gradually and build it up. Uh, this is the way I start and then I started adding in this one Ian Finn I actually did a class with him. He's also Canadian based Vancouver This is my first DVD I ever got from him a number of years ago called power yoga for happiness I think you can still get it. It's also a two DVD set and it has this one has 13 programs on this and this one has one two three four five six, seven, eight, so I think it's eight to nine programs on episodes on this and they're ranging from 30 minutes to an hour and a half. Amazing. This one has vinyasas in it. This will really build your strength in your upper body and your lower body. And the thing is, because I hadn't been doing my yoga on a regular basis, because I always used to cross train, my shoulders have now tilted. I have scoliosis in my back and the yoga was really helping to even out my shoulders and open up my spine and get it in the right situation because of all the twisting and the stretching and the back bending opens up and lengthens the spine and helps it to even out. I hadn't been doing that on a regular basis so now when I notice in my videos, my later videos, I can really see the tilt in my shoulders. Also I just did my bone scan two weeks ago. She did my height and apparently, I hope she was incorrect because I lost an inch. That is not going to happen. So yoga, I want my yoga to stretch out my spine again and it can do that. You can gain a quarter of an inch to half an inch and even an inch from doing yoga if you're doing it right to get your spine stretched out. So baby, I'm going back to my yoga because I need to do get my spine stretched out again and get my shoulders rearranged. Yeah, these ones are like the ones I kind of go to when I'm coming back. I start with this one and then I start to edge in this one. Now I don't do like whatever episode I choose on this one, I don't do the whole thing. I may just do five to 10 minutes of it and stop. There's no rule that you have to finish the whole episode just because you're doing the DVD. So I do up to what I can manage and then I stop. That's how I do it. I always modify everything, especially from when I'm coming back from injury or with me with my heart. These are some of my July favorites. It was kind of complicated comprehensive but I wanted to share them with you it's kind of like a show and tell it's a whole bunch of fun to see what you know other people are enjoying and what they're using and what makes their life easier and what makes their life uh, healthier and what makes their life more beautiful and it's nice to share it with everybody else let me know what your summer favorites are share it with everybody else it's a whole bunch of fun to see what other people are enjoying in these summer months it doesn't even have to be this it could be what you're doing, if you're going to the beach, or if you're enjoying yourself hanging out with friends, what festivals, what things you're planning, let me know. We'll all join the fun with that. If you got this far, leave me some sort of beach or sea emoji in your comment section. I'd love to see what you come up with. It's a whole bunch of fun to see and have fun with it. So anyway, I hope that even made sense. If you enjoyed this, do give me a thumbs up, like and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to keep up with all my videos. Hit the bell notification button so that you will not miss out. And just remember, rock your own kind of unique beauty and keep on going and keep on glowing. I will.